I got to. I got to save it, man. What up? What up? It's your boy, Puss in Boots. Yes, we are back. It is the next Lost Alone, uh, the newest episode that came out, which is Granny, Lost Alone, episode three. Granny, and of course, man, we got to finish this whole series. So if you haven't watched uh, any of the epi other episodes of Lost Alone, go back, man. Watch them uh, so you can play catch up on the damn story. It is in the playlist. So uh, yeah, just look in the playlist and you should see it down there. Without further ado, y'all know the drill. Uh, subscribe, share, all that bull crap. Let's get to the gameplay. See what the four demons are up to. <clears throat> okay, this is probably copywritten music. Yeah, definitely gonna have to cut that music. Matter of fact, I know what it is. Some weird ass picture. Well, all these paintings have been weird, so. Is that Granny? There were no second chances. Look at her getting it. I see you. I forgot what your name is, but despite this, everyone is looking for a second chance. A second chance to redeem oneself. A second chance for love. A second chance to do better. Modern technology has become so entrenched that we live with the belief of formatting. When an electronic gizmo reaches saturation, we format it. What the hell are they talking about? What? We start from scratch and make the best use of it until the next formatting. Okay, like uh, CD, DVD, I'm assuming. Uh, but life is straight is a straight line that goes on and on without stopping or formatting. There is no going back. Each experience accumulates with the others. <clears throat> you can try to make the same mistakes, but you cannot format the ones you've made by making the right choices with a new beginning. That is true. You can't make new choices once your choice is already made. The choice has been made. There are no second chances. Life is not a game where you can reload from a better save. Are they trying to tell me something about how this game is about to work? Or is it? Do y'all ever wish y'all could get a reset on life? Made some bad choices, maybe? Hmm? I sometimes... <laughs> Damn, they got real loud real quick. What the hell is that right now? It looked like somebody's standing there. Maybe it's a statue. All right, here we go, man. We back in there, lost alone, episode trick. Lean the card. I already lost health. I'm right at the beginning of the game and I already lost health. Uh, is am I? White despair. Where the lights at? Hey, yo, four demons, where y'all at? Help your boy out. Where the lights at in this bit? That is a statue. Put chalice, okay. She want a cup. Man, where's my hat at? Ah, here they are. When you enter a room, remember to turn on the light. Four demons. Wow, that's creepy. Under the judgment. Okay. All right, I need to get my hat. I'll be right back. The glare from the light, it's pissing me off. I can't see. And we're back. Here we go. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Got some uh, matches. Yeah, open all these holes up. Okay. Got some little zannies. All right. All right. More stories for us to read. Let's read. Damn. This is still the suspended love story. <laughs> that one's still going. I thought it was over. Oh, this is the same story. Okay. It's just all the look like all the pages sitting here. It is all the pages sitting here. Oh, it's all coming to a head now. Oh, Kenzo turned into the purgatory demon. Okay, one of the four demons. All right, so I'm gonna just look and see what all we got here. Let me light that hole up. Uh huh. All right, see what we got over here. A cobra. It's gonna bite me. The grandmother's cobra, her passion for animals is pathological. She just got a cobra in there, huh? That mother look like it's ready for beef. What's this? Examine. 
A whole damn box. Redfish. Picked up redfish. Okay. Blue card. What's this right here? Cosmopolitan. Get Komodo and enjoy the game. Come back to me. I will not. Damn, it's dark up here. Open. Hell, I can't see. Susan's room. Can't see shite up here. What a light set up in there, bitch. Is that a light switch? Looks like it. Awesome. Granny? Granny, is that you, Granny? All right, we just gonna let Granny stand there and take a stand-up nap. Okay. Go ahead and put that there. Water. I don't have a watering can. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anything there? No. Okay. Let's go back here. See what we got back here. Picked up yellowfish. And another juke coin. Grandmother's medicine. That's probably a good idea to have while she's standing there brooding. <laughs> that. That was surprising. Wasn't expecting that at all. I'm waiting for who? For what? All right, let's go ahead and keep it moving. Go ahead and keep it moving. Anything down there for you, bye? Anything down there for you, bye? Nothing. Okay. I don't like the way that door opened up at all. But this is Jorge's room. Oh, George. Turn that light on, cuz. Oh, Evil Dead poster. Okay. Good movie there. I like it. What we got up in here? More jukebox coin. We got some more matches. Space Invaders. Man, that game is difficult as hell. Reed. Susan, the girl who helped me take care of Grandma, arrived today. I didn't expect her to be so young and pretty. Careful. Simmer yourself down there, George. She might be two or three years older than me. She took this job because she has to pay for her medical studies. I hope grandma will be good to her. The last person who came to help us disappeared in the thin air, but I can understand her. It's not easy at all to take care of grandma and her illness. It is also difficult for me, but I can't leave George. Okay. What's this? It's a key. Key to what? Key to grandmother's room. Okay. We'll take that. Put cube. Uh, okay, we would've gotta put the Tesseracts here, huh? The cube from Hellraiser. What do they call it? The Lament Cube or a Configuration or something like that? Ain't that what it's called? The Hellraiser Cube? They used to scare the hell out of me as a kid. Like I said, my dad took me to see that movie as a kid. Why? I have no idea. Put the toys away. How about I don't? Back to the Future. Classic. He got the little hoverboard right there too. I do not like the way these doors are opening at all. Where that damn light switch? Where it at? Where it at? Oh my God, it looked like somebody was standing there. That was my shadow, nigga. <laughs> somebody was standing there. Nigga got scared of my own shadow. That is hilarious. Oh man. I ain't no punk B though. I ain't no punk B. Man, that just looked like Skeletor right there. Skull. Yeah, pretty much. Picked up grandmother's medicine. Got another jukebox going too. A little jukebox. I need a yellow card. Okay. Man, the security they got on these houses is wild. <clears throat> right, got another jukebox coin. Okay. Oh, that music stopped for a second. Kind of threw me out. What grandma doing out there though? What you doing out there, there, grandma? What you doing out there, there? What does this say? The woman in red, oh. Roxanne, you ain't gotta put on that red light. Vampire, okay. Let's go ahead and, Elsa. Try to get a move on, George. Grandma! I told you a thousand times you're not my grandson. You've always been an insufferable little boy. Damn, Grandma, relax. Why you so mean, Grandma? Excuse me, grandmother. Your apology is more useless than you are. Damn! <laughs> uh, did you do what I asked you to do? No. 
No. What did you ask me to do, Gramps? Holy shit, George. How many times do I have to tell you? You have a series of tasks to do. I've left notes for you around the house. Get a move on now. Hey, look at them very close veins. Good lord, those very close are just disgusting. All right, Grandma. Uh, go in there and take a nap. Wow, that's creepy. Claustrophobia. Yeah, I suffer from it. I know how that goes. Freak show. Oh, okay. That makes sense now. That makes sense now. Okay. Why would I want to go in there? I don't know, but we going in. <laughs> yeah, probably a bad idea. What are you doing in there, Grandma? What does that say right there? The flashlight guides you in the dark, but the duration is limited. When you recharge it, you need to keep it equipped for demons. Wait, what? Grandma? Granny? Gramps? Where'd you go? Wow, that's creepy. Infinity of time. Whatever you say. What else we got down here? Batteries. Down here. Okay. What this say? Examine. Read. <clears throat> this is from Gramps. The doctor advised me to write down as much as I can. This could help me with my illness. Unfortunately, at the moment, I can only count on you. I need to give. I need you to give me a hand. You have a number of tasks to do. You have to take care of this house for me. Water my plants. Take pictures of all my animals. I want to see if they are okay. Take the pictures to my room. Fix up my mannequin. Someone left all the pieces lying around. Put your things away. I don't want to see them lying around now. Take my medicines to my room. Play the damn jukebox. I want to hear my favorite fucking songs. And put them fish in them aquariums. I get nervous with this mess. You yeah, always leave everything lying around. I'm sick of hearing you say that. It's not it's not you scattering things around the house. And who should it be? There are two of us here. Get a move on, Judge. Grandma Elsa. I am an idiot. Yes, I am. Why was I reading it in that voice? I don't know. It felt grandma-like. Photograph of mine animals. Okay. Hang photographs. Put the medicines in order. Damn, Grandma, you got a whole lot of tasks to do. All right, well, there goes two of them. Oh, okay, so I need the medicines to unlock that. Grandma got me doing all the work. Grandmas can't wait to put you to work. They love it. Water the plant. Okay. Okay. Need the red card for that. Grandma, you in this closet? You ain't? Okay, good. Picked up purple fish. The purple fish. Okay, put those coins in the jukebox. You have no coins. Start the jukebox. How the hell do you start it? Oh, I gotta put all the coins in there. That gum, man, that jukebox is expensive. How many coins I gotta put in that bed? Ooh, that's real creepy right there. I ain't even gonna front y'all, that's creepy. Look at that. The albino girl. Ooh, she's creepy. Get away with this fucking violin. That's what the skeleton is saying. Or is that what he's saying? Get that fucking violin out of my face. Let's see. Uh, maybe grandma will do a little dance for us in this episode. <laughs> Everybody else done done a damn dance. Open that hallway up. Back to hella far. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. Grandma's love. At the tender age of 10, George met love. The smothering love. That's not a good type of love. The wrong love. Gonna cut this music too. The love that no one should ever know. Okay. With his mother's death and his father's sentencing to the electric chair, George is placed in the care of his uh, paternal grandmother, Elsa. Okay. Elsa loved George. She loved George in a way that no child should ever be loved. Yeah, she was on some weird shite. She was on some weird stuff. But the little boy couldn't yet understand. Okay. 
Raised in denial, Elsa's morbid attachment was a synonym for acceptance. Mm. A symbol of attachment that somehow kept George from running away from that home. Nineteen eighty two. Elsa's abuse was stopped by Alzheimer's, okay? The semblance of love dispensed by Elsa was completely replaced by unreasonable anger and George's attachment to his grandmother forced him to take care of the old woman. Memory losses, angry outbursts, and moments of panic were made lighter by Susan. Who the hell is Susan? Susan was a medical student who, to pay for her own studies, agreed to take care of Elsa moving into the house. Okay. All right, Susan. Moving in. Oh, that's it? Damn, that was quick. Okay. Ain't no, ain't no light to turn on here? Ain't no light to turn on here? Where the light at? Where the light at? Examine. Son of rats. Oh, it's the boy from uh, Plague Tale. What's his name? I forgot. I just remember he annoying as hell. Hell? A door called hell? I'm glad that door is locked. I do not want to go in there. What did it say? In Lost Alone Episode 3, Granny, you can save your game progress by interacting with the video recorders. Uh, you will need the VHS to save. Evaluate the right time. Don't waste them. Four Ds. These bastards ain't gonna let me um, save unlimited in it like I used to could in the last episodes. Ain't that a bit? Turn that on. That way I can turn off my flashlight. More oil. Give me the oil. I have no matches. Damn. Ran out already? Oh. There goes some. Examine. Read. January 10th, 1982. Today is the first day in this house. Miss Elsa alternates between moments of lucidity and moments of total confusion. I didn't know she had a grandson about my age. He seems like a nice boy. I'm sure we will get along very well in the coming months. Susan, okay. Eternal rest. Baby look like Benjamin Button. Old ass baby, man. No inventory space. Ain't that a bit? That is the red card. But I don't have any inventory space. So. That's to the kitchen. Turn that light on, cuz. Turn that light on. Don't be no idiot. Turn all the lights on. Okay. More oil, more matches, another coin, and grandma's little what's its face. Medicine. Hope on fire. Actually, that painting's kind of dope. I ain't gonna front y'all. That one's kind of cool. Feed Edgar. Edgar eats worms, insects, and lizards. Oh, okay. Who the hell is Edgar? Egg or grandma's crow. He looks hungry. You better not get your hands on it. <laughs> okay. What is this? Rotate. What is Chef Jimmy? What? <laughs> okay, whatever. Can we open up any of these? Cannot. And there go that garlic again. What is up with the garlic? Can I open these? Last time I opened the top cabinet, it was a dead head in there. Still need a watering can. All right, that is the last of grandma's medicine. <laughs> Made my nerves jump out my back. Good Lord, man. Y'all gotta stop doing that. Y'all gotta stop doing that. Assign them zannies to number two. You know what I mean? Assign the zannies to number two. A toy cube. Put the toy, uh, put the toy cubes in place. Okay. Ah, oh, okay, that was in his room. Okay, let me go up here. Uh, put Granny's medicine, and then um. Okay, I need the blue card for that one. Hey, yo, Granny! I got another one of your medicines here. Go ahead and set it down now. Only got one more. Put that red card. Uh-huh. Okay, more oil, more matches. We'll take that. We will take that. 
Make sure I didn't miss nothing in them cabinets. Okay. Cool. Go ahead and put that cube down. Mm-hmm. What's that up under there? More Playboy? You sicko? What is that? Examine it. I said examine. A poster of Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> that is so random. I feel like it's some of the most random things in this game. Yeah, go ahead and unlock that bit. Go ahead and unlock this one too. It goes to the living room. Mm-hmm. And this one goes to the aquarium. Okay. And I got the little fish thing, so. Man, I wish they had a bag down here. Wait a minute, there is a bag down here. So I'm gonna go grab the fish. Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to put them fish in the aquarium. Mascus, okay. Looks like some mascus need to be hanging there. And that is why I like this game. Because the scares are random. You don't know when they're gonna come. They actually do come out of nowhere. Exam mine. Lost look. Yeah, she do look lost as hell. I feel like a light didn't come on. That's the light, huh? Wow. Okay. All right, got my fish in there. Return the fish to the aquarium. Done and done. Oh, I guess there's more fish I got to return. Okay, got some more oil. Let's read this right here. It has been more than a week now. George and I spend a lot of time together. We have a lot of interests in common. We like the same movies, the same music, etc. However, whenever I ask questions about his past, he immediately becomes somber and changes the subject. I don't know what he's been through, but apparently it's a topic off limits to him. If he lives with his grandmother, he must have lost his parents in a bad accident. I won't bring up the subject again unless he tells me about it. Yeah, that boy got some trauma trauma. Real trauma. Okay, relax on the scares though. Relax, relax on the scares. That ain't even necessary. This door is blocked on the other side. Get to the kitchen to set grandma's, to get grandma's tea. Man, I'll get there when I want to. Mayor, look at that guy. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> what is this? Oh, grandma's gecko. Her passion for animals is pathological. Go to the kitchen. Bring, bring me tea here. You can add, you can say please. Dang, be polite. Jeez. Oh, there goes her last medicine. And another save. Okay. Got another coin, got another videotape. Okay, we're doing all right out here. We're doing all right. A crystal lotus flower. I have to unlock the lock to get it. Unlock the lock to get it. Seems a bit redundant. Uh, you surprised me. <laughs> the kid looked like alfalfa. Okay, so we got to take grandma some tea. Ah! Grandma about to do a dance for us. <laughs> grandma, what are you doing, man? Relax. Relax yourself, Gramps. That was unnecessary. Damn, how many key uh, coins that thing take? We still got to get our tea, though. Okay. There we go. Mechanism blocked the opening. Damn, how many she? How many medicines she's got? Put the medicines in order. I don't think I can fit no more on here. Well, apparently, I can. I'm about to stack them hoes like a pyramid. Granny. You in there, Granny? I say, Granny. Okay, I think we good. I think we good. I think we good. Gotta wash my back. Picked up Grandma's tea. Man, I don't want Grandma coming out scared us. All right, man, we got this. Don't be no punk bear. Oh, I forgot a key. I didn't see that there at first. Picked up the key to purgatory, huh? Okay. Well, uh, I guess we'll go to purgatory and see what happens in there. I don't like the way that sounds. I don't like the way that sounds at all. We good, John. We good. That's the exit right now. I think this purgatory here. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. In oh, it's Kanzo. What up, George? We finally meet in person. My name is Kanzo, and I'm one of the four demons, the demon of purgatory. Okay. 
Until now, we have only gotten to know each other through letters. Hey, Kanzo, you a wild boy. You killed grandma for love. That's wild. Uh, now your journey is coming to an end, and we have gathered in this place to decide what to do to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, to my grandmother's house? Don't be silly, George, you dumb little boy. This is the house of your childhood only in appearance. He said, nigga, this is hell for real. What you talking about? We just made it look like this. <laughs> but you're nowhere to be found. You were dead, George. Remember? You hung yourself, fam. You are in a no place. You are suspended in a kind of limbo. Purgatory, if you will. Why am I here? Why me? I'm here to judge you. The final judgment is the path I chose when I sacrificed Yoko. Was Yoko his girl or his, or his mom? Let's keep it short, George. <laughs> you are in the place for our final judgment. Your life has been very particular, George. Yes, it has, particular with trauma. And we demons are trying to figure out how much you are actually responsible for the trial of death that you let, or for the trail of death that you left behind. A demon don't know how to talk. I, I don't understand. You don't have to understand, George. Uh, you must, you must please us demons. Let's start with a simple, simple task. I spent my existence chasing an un requited love okay i wanted yoko's heart at all costs but when i presented with the choice i gave up love now i'm in possession of yoko's heart and it can finally be inside me for wow that is creepy sir that is not the kind of love one should want cook me a love soup george you'll find the recipe in the kitchen <laughs> my nigga my nigga want a love soup <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? What the hell is love soup? George, George, George. No questions. These are metaphors. Just do it. Follow the damn recipe and then come uh, uh, then come to me to get Yoko's heart. <laughs> this nigga said make me a love soup. Hey, fam. What you want in that love soup? That just sounds disgusting. It sounds really disgusting. Look at her. <laughs> what you doing peeking back behind there with them implants you got? Them implants is wild, girl. Look like balloons you got up in there. Hey, don't act like I don't see you. Why you acting like I couldn't see you, though? I could absolutely see you. You were standing right there. I could absolutely see you. Ingredients. Garlic, onion, mushroom, tomato sauce, potato, pepper, and grains, pepper, salt, and man jizz. Got you. That's why they call it love soup. Oh. What'd they say? Senpai? Okay, we in there. Your boy Boo's got this, man. Already unlocked one. See what we got here. Ooh, a lot of batteries. Okay, more Zannies. And picked up tailoring key. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back and save this before something bad happens. I got to, I got to save it, man. That wasn't too bad of a scare. Did it scare y'all? It didn't scare me that time. It did scare me that time. I feel like I was kind of expecting something. All right, folks, that's going to be it for this episode of Lost Alone, episode three, Granny. Uh, of course, I'm going to finish this. We got to find out what the hell is going on with George and Granny. As always, thank y'all for stopping by. Check your boy Pussy Boots out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. I'm out this piece. Deuces.